This is a short tutorial on Flipgrid, an online platform that enhances student voice and generates interesting conversations and discussions in the classroom. In this video, we'll show you how to respond to videos that have been recorded within a topic in a grid in Flipgrid. So there are several different features with giving feedback. First up, what you want to do is watch the video, maybe pause it, make your comments as you go. You've got 1,024 characters. So let's say the performance I thought was good. I'm going to give that a 4. The ideas were great. I'm going to give that a 5. Now let's say I thought this is great, so I'm going to turn it from inactive to active. People will now be able to see it. Okay? If I thought it was really, really great, I might want to go to Spark, and then I can use this as the topic resource, which takes away the photo that I used, or the image, or the video, and then that makes this the benchmark for when students are going to the topic. If I click Feature, and I have Flipgrid Classroom, then I can pin it to the top, so it's one of the first, or the first, actually, video that students or other viewers see. There are other actions. I can edit the response. I can download it. Again, I can spark it from there, duplicate it. I can actually move it as well. So if I want to take it and put it to a different topic within my grid, I can do that too. Now we'll go back to feedback here. So let's say I want to send this via email. I've clicked all my little emoji things. We're all ready to go. If I wanted, I can click add as an email. So let's say I want to send that. I want to give a title, your assignment. Let's say I want a link for further study if I feel that they need it. I can click update response and then I click send feedback and you notice here it says feedback sent. What's that going to look like for the student? Well they go to their inbox, they're going to see this, you have a new Flipgrid feedback. And they scroll down and say oh four to five performance and quality and clarity of expressed ideas which are auto generated from Flipgrid and they see which video you're making reference to. One other thing you could do too, if you really think it's a great video, you can share the URL, you can embed it, or you can get a QR code and send it out. Or you can share it on the various social media that are connected to Flipgrid. And essentially that is how you can give feedback to students.